Now I've got to take a video of this. He's in here, he's not on a chain. And I'm deliberately, I fed some um, of his dog food down here because the geese eat it to tempt him because they come right up. And I'm feeding all the birds here. Come on everyone here. I've got geese. I've got chickens and guinea fowl. And I'm supervising him. So he's proper training. Well, he's been training the whole way along, but this is really intense training for him. To get him, look at him, he's just relaxed. I want him to come out. I want to brush him with his Verminator. Oh, darling. Okay, so they've all just um, had a, a feel. Anyway, I, I don't think I'll keep, uh, I want to focus on this. So I just wanted to show everyone. And um, it's good. This is really good. He's paying them absolutely no attention and he's going to have more supervision like this. So he doesn't have to be on a chain when I'm around, but when I leave him, he has to be on a chain and it's working really well because like last night, the geese slept outside his cage and I'll probably have to, like even if I'm here and I'm asleep, I'll probably have to chain him because I'll just worry about him with the geese. But then I can let him out off in the morning and hang out with him and see how he goes. He's doing really well because he's in the middle of his adolescence so he's at that point where he just wants to chase <laughs> and here's some of my birds and they're all having a drink and Stella's over there waiting for me to come give her a brush and they're all washing themselves I'm gonna have to put up another water supply I don't know what happened to my other bucket I might get it I've got some troughs I might bring up some trough I've got like massive big um, horse troughs which um, the geese wouldn't be able to reach the dog would be able to reach and all the chickens and guinea fowls could pop in and drink but I just I, I need to think it through because we're going to get very hot so <laughs> good boy Teddy